Market Week, and we are celebrating in a different way around the city <laughs> to support the farmers and people who bring food to our tables every single day. Yeah, and we had a chance to speak to one of the vendors who is at the Forsyth Farmers Market every Saturday and find out what motivates her to keep pro providing her spices to the community. Yes, ma'am, it is. It is hot. <laughs> a few years ago, some years ago, I started having some really bad health problems, and so was my husband, and so our doctor suggested that we try to eat clean and make sure that I'm making everything myself. Um, the problem that I was having was I like seasoned food and I was having a problem finding seasoning that didn't have chemicals in it. Everybody should have the, have the ability to enjoy their food. Everybody deserves to enjoy their food. So I wanted to offer something to people that you can season your food, have that great flavor, but not have all the extra that's causing all of the issues that you're having in your body. I start blending and bottling and labeling and everything on Tuesday. We make sure that everything is prepared by Thursday or Friday so that we can be here Saturday morning bright and early, ready with bells on and smiles on the faces to serve everybody. Um, we get a lot of our herbs and things from our local uh, vendors that are in the market. We get herbs from them. I get flour, flour, edible flowers from them and we get big fresh garlic and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, and then we have to start the process early in the week because we do a lot of our own drying. This is my main source of revenue. This is gonna sound crazy, but I measure my customers according to the number of bags that go out because I have purple bags purposely. And so I usually get about 60 customers or so every Saturday. But here, what I did discover in coming to Savannah is that the people here, the community, believe in supporting their local businesses. And just the, that sense of community that I got, I, I, I don't want to live anywhere else <laughs> because I have never been supported the way I've been supported here. Everybody needs to live a flavored life. That's my thing. <laughs> live a flavored life. Everybody needs something in your food. You want to enjoy it. Sometimes it takes more than just salt and pepper. Thank you. You are so very well. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Well, if you are looking to add some spice to your life, along with some fresh produce, and maybe some great snacks, you're in luck. There'll be a pop-up farmer's market at End Market Arena this evening. And Kimberly is going to be there with a bunch of other local vendors. Starts at 4 o'clock, continues till 7. Uh, just another great way to bring farmer's markets out to our community on Farmer's Market Week. Yeah, I love that she mentioned how this community focuses on giving back local and yeah. how... She's feeling so much support. I love that. Well, we want to give you a second question of the day today. It has to do with Farmer's Market Week and Farmer's Markets, which is how often do you go to Farmer's Markets? I used to be there almost every Saturday. Yeah. I've kind of backed off a little bit, but uh, I've got my, my mint and basil guy, and I've got mm. my fruit guy, and then I've got my salad mix and tomato guy. Yeah. And then, of course, I've got to stop by some of the dessert tables as well. You have <laughs> to stop by those dessert tables. I was going to almost every other week because I was able to take Kaiser, and so yeah. we'd be in Forsyth, yeah. and he'd have a great time.